designs for one of the cabinets for holding lab goggles. It needs to hold approximately 30 pairs of So you, you drop your droppings in here, and it collects, and there's a churn in it, just to understand what the problem is. One of the key elements of, of these classes is that I, I make a concerted effort to make sure that it is uh, firmly grounded in our community and industry. This class has shown me like what it means to be a leader and work with other people to uh, accomplish something great. So for me, I'm really interested in marketing and business, and I came into this class for a different purpose than most people. Instead of the engineering, I liked the idea of learning about product development and learning about what in marketing and more of the product cycle. I got to do something new, and it was easy to do because we had people who were more experienced, and it, it just saw, you could see general design in the chair. Um, but right now, I, I'm just finishing it, and hopefully it'll, it'll work. I feel like right now it's really sturdy. The things that we tell, everybody, you should become an engineer because you're good at science and math. Um, the fundamental elements of design are about going out and being able to listen to people, to be able to understand user needs, and to be able to then communicate those needs back to your user for feedback. And right here there's like a little flap that seals it. And then so you, you drop your droppings in here, and it collects and there's a churn in it, so it keeps on churning and churning it. Whether it be the art skills my students are bringing into my classroom, or their communication skills for presentations, um, those are all those integrated pieces that the students then start to realize, oh, there was something about all of these things that I was using, and they apply to being a designer. He understands that he can't teach us everything that we need like the electronics unit that we had in second period. He's a mechanical engineer, not an electrical engineer. He went out of his way looking for industry partners, experts that would, could come in and teach us what he couldn't. I need to be doing a much better job uh, of collaborating with other teachers and other disciplines um, to be able to accomplish the things that these new stands are asking us to do, which um, in my opinion are uh, definitely on the right track. Real world problems open up the opportunity for students to get into problems that are messy uh, and are not solved. And all engineers are working on problems that are messy and are not solved.